What's up everyone, Jason here, and today we are going to actually finally be talking about the Carbon Paintball Pod Pack. Now, first of all, this thing is $129, so when I bought this, I didn't have high expectations or low expectations. You gotta say neutral when you get these products, because you want to make sure, hey, I need a clear mind, I need to make sure I rate and judge these correctly. So the website is carbonpaintball.com. You can get it off of them or you can get this off of Amazon. Amazon has it as well. They're both the same price, so you can't go Amazon Prime, cheap shopping, can't do it. They're the same, okay? Now, the I heard about this pod pack probably about a year ago, and I never really put too much thought into it. And then I've noticed more and more videos coming up of people like, yeah, this is a great pod, and I'm like, okay, tell me why it's a great pod pack. I want to know. I never got an answer, so I was like, you know what, it's time to do it our way. So I bought one, took it to the paintball field, we actually have a live review that my good buddy Joseph, who does play paintball with me, and myself, we did a little Q&A talking about the pod pack. So today we're just going to go a little bit more about it, a few details, and same thing, we're going to talk about, is it worth the $130? So without further ado, let's get into it. So you do get this nice little case, zipper, whatever, whoop de do. Okay, so as you can see, it's already seen some play. Now, word of caution, you cannot, I repeat, cannot put this in your washer and dryer, okay? it. No, you have to hand wash it. I'm used to just coming home, throwing my gear in my washer and dryer, washing it on delicate, drying it on super low heat, and then putting it up. No, can't do it, okay? The whole thing that really sells, or that their selling point is for the carbon paintball, is one, it's the lightest pod pack on the market. Is that true? Yes, it is. There is nothing to this thing. It is super, super duper light. So, if I can get it to turn on, hey, it turned on. My battery's been dying in this, sorry. Okay, so here you go, let's weigh it. One pound, one ounce, okay? So, in order to achieve this extremely low, low, low weight, carbon paintball, this is gonna be a little loud, has actually gone through and lasered every little nook and cranny thing that they did not need to reduce the weight, reduce the weight, reduce the weight. Now, the one thing you can see, wait a minute, where's all the, where's the padding? All I see is slippery material and a big carbon paintball. Well, this is the padding. So, on the right-hand side of the pod pack, you have an air pump, like the old school Michael Jordan shoes back when I was a kid. So basically, you would put the pod pack on, it does sit in your lower back. Most pod packs sit like this, just straight. This one actually curves with the curvature of your back. So if you put it on and like, this feels weird, just giving you a heads up, it's designed to go with the curvature of your back, not just be flat. So basically, you put this on, you pump it up full of air, once you get enough pressure on your back, you stop. Okay, we'll say, I, I put too much pressure. Pop this up. Hold that in, and it deflates. You can actually hear it. It then deflates that. So let's go ahead and fill it up so you can actually see it work. And as you can see, it is starting to move. Here, put it to the side there. Now, of course, I completely just deflated this thing, so bear with me. There we go. Now we're actually starting to see it actually move. So, during our field test, uh, it is very lightweight. It is very comfortable. I did notice that when you first get these, to get the pods out, it is a royal pain in the butt. Uh, you have to pull to a certain degree, then it lets go. So it's not just a smooth pull down, get your pod, fill it up, throw the pod, go back to playing. No. 
on average, it was taking me probably around five seconds to get each pot out. And you think, well, that's not a lot of time. I'm used to one second, pods out, I'm already starting to try to fill. So from pod pack, pulling out, pod open, in hopper, that should be around five seconds, maybe even less. Not five seconds just to get one pot out. So I'm not going to knock that too much because it is new, so that probably just needs to break in a little bit. So keep that in mind. The ultimate thing, though, is do I feel, even with all the cool perks, it being super lightweight, it being comfortable, it having the back pump, it actually fitting to the contour of your back instead of being straight, is it worth $129? I don't think so. But that's just my own opinion. Now, if you are a standard, uh, say, weekend warrior, you may go pump, you may go play paintball maybe once a month, twice a month, if that, I do not recommend this pod pack. I don't, okay? it's This pod pack is going to be more for the tournament players or people like me, how we're going ev almost every Saturday and Sunday of every week to play. Then I would recommend it, okay? They also have one, I believe it's in blue, for $89.99, which is more of a pod pack range. You have to think about every product in paintball, you have competitors, you have other manufacturers you got to stay in a certain parameter of price if you know you have i don't know let's think of the, the lowest vulcan pod pack i think it's like 29 dollars. okay and their most expensive is like 59.99 okay same thing with empire or eclipse or contract killer or uh critical v stealth all these and then all of a sudden you get a paintball company who's like i'm gonna make my price way over here i think that's the reason why you don't see these on the field. This is the first one I've ever seen, even at the fields I play on. I have never seen one yet. So, of course, when I bought it, everyone's like, oh, my God, let me look at it. Can I play with it? Can I do this? I'm like, yeah, sure. I want to get your review. So keep an eye out for the field review. Other than that, this is just an uh, introduction. It is comfortable. It is lightweight. The support is amazing on this. But like I mentioned, the $129, I think that could be negotiable. Maybe even 90, maybe even 100. I, I think 100 would be a good price range for this, but 130 is kind of steep. So other than that, here is the carbon paintball pad pack. Like I said, it's comfortable. It contours to your lower back. It has a cool little pump that allows you to apply your own pressure of pad. And it's not too bad overall. But as a warning, there's always a warning. This barely fits me. Okay, and remember, I'm six foot two ish, 180 pounds with a 34 inch waist. Okay, this barely fits me. Okay, so they make a wide version. This is the regular, they make a wide version. So please keep that in mind before you order one. Like I said, you can get these off of Amazon. It says Carbon Paintball Pod Pack, or you can go to carbonpaintball.com. Other than that, this is Jason. Thanks for watching with the Carbon Paintball Pod Pack.